Hi, so what's going on here? We're outside the Mayfair Hotel in London where activists have uh, locked on to the doors, uh, glued on and they've also dropped a big banner saying end oil colonialism. That's what's going on here. There's the Africa Energy Summit uh, taking place right now with uh, sort of VIP guests, uh, big CEOs from some of the largest energy companies in the world and delegates from across Africa. And what they're going to be doing here is making new deals and contracts um, and they're basically using energy, whether it's oil, gas, sometimes renewables, but it's a tiny percentage of it, mainly oil and gas. They're using energy as a lever to extract the wealth from African people, from right underneath their feet. Uh, what happens is it drives nations into debt. Uh, you can see this right now. Benin, Burkina Faso, the Gambia, Ghana, uh, Guinea-Bissau, uh, Togo, Senegal, Niger, Nigeria. All of these countries are in debt distress. That means so much of their debt, is uh, so much of their GDP, what they're making every month, what the state's making is being paid back to service debt uh, to, to, the, to the rich nations. And so right now what's happening is, is that. And energy is the lever that they're using to extract more of that wealth. And that debt is putting future generations, they're making future generations pay, and we're not seeing any kind of development. That's the lie that they're going to be spinning, that this is all about development. But as has been going on in Africa for literally hundreds of years now, this is conscious underdevelopment of Africa. And, and it's absolutely terrible. And we're trying to send a really, really clear message that our generation, the people coming up now, we do not believe that a country needs to grow forever. That is completely insane. That is sickness. That is greed. What we're asking is they stop. They must stop because they have a debt to pay. And if they don't pay it willingly, it will be taken from them. More and more people are taking to the streets. And that's absolutely right. We need to absolutely transform our systems right now. And so a conference like this shouldn't be taking place. And if it should, it should all be about justice for Africa. And that means cancel the debt, give back the land, pay loss and damage, repair the damage that's been done. No more oil.